Right. Hi, people. Um, obviously, Donald Trump has won. Um, so I, 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 so I was watching some videos and people were showing Trump talking about like, you know, puberty blockers and the um, Transformers. People know what I mean by Transformers and giving children puberty blockers and telling them that they're born in the wrong body. Um, so I think this is one of his campaign videos and I wholeheartedly agree with him on this. You know, there's no doubt about it, but he's brave. Now, some people are talking about whether, um, you know, because Donald Trump has had many um, attempts to unalive him um, in the last years. I think he has had two, for about three different attempts to unalive him. Um, so if he starts putting these agendas uh, through to stop children taking um, um, puberty blockers and stop them from changing their biological sex, people are saying that they will try to unalive him, you know, the far left um, and the deep state. So I want us to listen to this video. Give me your thoughts. It's important that you give me your thoughts. Also, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you want more content from me, because this does take my time up making videos for you, please buy me a coffee. The To buy me a coffee, you can buy me a coffee, and the link is in the description bar. Okay, let's listen to what Trump has to say. Child abuse, very simple. The left-wing gender insanity being pushed on our children is an act of child abuse. Very simple. Here's my plan to stop the chemical, physical, and emotional mutilation of our youth. On day one, I will revoke Joe Biden's cruel policies on so-called gender-affirming care. Woo! So he called it um, mutilation of children. Oh, my gosh. He's not playing, is he? Ridiculous, a process that includes giving kids puberty blockers, mutating their physical appearance, and ultimately performing surgery on minor children. Can you believe this? Okay, let me give you... I, I know what puberty blockers are because I was put on... There's something called Lupron. I was put on Lupron as an adult because I had a very heavy period to the point where I was getting anemic. And if you get too anemic you can go into cardiac arrest, basically. I was losing too much iron, and I would end up having to have a blood transfusion um, or, or um, an iron transfusion, yeah? So it's very dangerous if you have a very heavy period and it just does not stop. Um, so I I was put on that for to stop that, and it's called Lupron, and it's not very nice because it does affect your mood. But I was only put on it for like a couple of months. Some of these kids, like, you know, the the girls that start puberty at like eight or nine, they all, I know one or two women that started puberty at eight or nine had a period and they just had to go through it. But nowadays they're giving these kids um, puberty blockers. It, it's not actually necessary. Plenty of women manage to cope Um um, without putting on puberty blockers, but some of these pe girls have been putting puberty blockers for years, ended up with um, soft, you know, um, you know, when your bones start breaking, because you can't shut down a woman's uh, fertility, her ovaries, for too long without without getting long term effects. So it's basically what they call they call it is chemical crash crash station. That's what it is. It sounds really harsh. Um, but that's what it actually is. They're castrating you when you go on, on, on puberty blockers. They put your body into menopause. So your body thinks it's in menopause. So it can't reproduce. I will sign a new executive order instructing every federal agency to cease all programs that promote the concept of sex and gender transition at any age. Yeah, I don't understand why you would put children on puberty blockers. I agree with him. And 
telling children to rearrange their sexual organs that makes them infertile. It's these eugenics people, these people that want less people on the planet that are back in this. Will then ask Congress to permanently stop federal taxpayer dollars from being used to promote or pay for these procedures and pass a law prohibiting child sexual mutilation in all 50 states. It'll go very quickly. I will declare that any hospital or healthcare provider that participates in the chemical or physical mutilation of minor youth will no longer meet federal health and safety standards for Medicaid and Medicare and will be terminated from the program immediately. Furthermore, I will support the creation of a private right of action for victims to sue doctors who have unforgivably performed these procedures on minor children. That are so I think Medicaid and Medicaid, I think it's their insurance, isn't it? Um, their health insurance, how citizens get health insurance and how the, the hospitals claim the money and to pay for the procedures for the patients. The, um, but he's not messing about, is he? The Department of Justice will investigate Big Pharma and the big hospital networks to determine whether they have deliberately covered up horrific long-term side effects of sex transitions in order to get rich at the expense of vulnerable patients in this. Oh, God. So he's going to war with Big Pharma. That's another thing that could get him on alive people. Yeah. In this case very vulnerable. We will also investigate whether Big Pharma or others have illegally marketed hormones and puberty blockers, which are in no way licensed or approved for this use. My Department of Education will inform states and school districts that if any teacher or school official suggests to a child that they could be trapped in the wrong body, they will be faced with severe consequences, including potential civil rights violations for sex discrimination and the elimination of federal funding. As part of our new credentialing body for teachers, we will promote positive education about the nuclear family, the roles of mothers and fathers, and celebrating rather than erasing the things that make men and women different and unique. Amen to that, amen to that. I'm with Donald Trump on that. Thank God we can celebrate the differences instead of trying to erase them. I hope this affects the UK as well. I will ask Congress to pass a bill establishing that the only genders recognized by the United States government are male and female, and they are assigned at birth. The bill will also make... The only thing I would say to him, you know there are people that are intersex, that are born um, in between male and female. Um, so I think it's important that he does recognise that, and that is how they're born. So you can't blame them for how they're born. Make clear that Title IX prohibits men from participating in women's sports, and we will protect the rights of parents from being forced... Yeah, men should not be participating in women's sports. Damn right. Another amen to that. ...forced to allow their minor child to assume a gender which is new and an identity without the parent's consent. The identity will not be new, and it will not be without parental consent. No serious country should be telling its children that they were born with the wrong gender, a concept that was never heard of in all of human history. Nobody's ever heard of this, what's happening today. It was all when the radical left invented it just a few years ago. But I I agree with him on that. The idea that you can... It's one thing to dress up as the opposite uh, sex. It's another thing to start taking hormones, rearranging the sexual organs, uh, yada, 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 and telling children that it's all right. You don't want any, any of these girls to be tomboys, and you don't want these boys to be tom girls. You know, you've got to tell them that they're born in the wrong body and all this type of stuff. So big up to Trump for that. Um, but I think him going to war with Big Pharma is going to, and the far left is, you know, he, you know, someone's going to try and un, unalive him again. I mean, they're even coming out and saying that Iran had a plan to unalive Trump. I'm not too sure 
um, what he did in his administration to upset uh, Iran. But yeah, they apparently they had a plan to unalive him too. Under my leadership, this madness will end. Thank you very much. Make America great again. Mago. Wow. People, what can I say? I do agree with Trump on that. Give me your thoughts. Do you agree with Trump on some of the things that he said? He's brave, but let's be honest. We know he's going to get someone's going to try and unalive him. And anyway, don't forget to buy me a coffee. Like the video. And share, please.